Hello, welcome to Adapted Tai Chi. I'm Natalie and I'm Steph. And Tai Chi's got lots of health benefits. You can practice this as often as you feel comfortable with. It's nice and gentle. Don't do it if you're feeling poorly though. If you're doing the DVD or this video, make sure you've got plenty of space. And if you feel like you need some support, make sure you've got something nice and sturdy just to hold on to to keep your balance. We'll start by getting our postures just right. Pop your feet together. Take your toes apart and your heels apart to follow. Just soften those knees and pop your hands up onto your hips. Make sure that your tummy and your bottom are tucked in so that that back's feeling in a nice neutral position. Drop the arms down so they're feeling nice and heavy and relaxed. Make sure those collarbones are feeling nicely lengthened and imagine that you've got a helium balloon attached to the crown of your head, drawing you up nice and tall stretching out through that spine and lengthening the back of the neck. Just tuck the chin in ever so slightly and you're ready to go. All right, we're going to do some now in what we call a tandem stand. What I'd like you to do is take your left foot slightly forward and your right foot slightly back. Make sure you've got a space between them and that your toes are pointing forwards. If you need some support for this one, do hold on to something nice and sturdy. Take your weight back through that right leg and give it a bit of a bend at the knee and the toes up on the front of the left foot. If you can, take one or both hands up and overhead and just softly cross them at the wrists. This next movement is called scooping the sea and looking at the horizon. Come forwards onto that front leg, bringing the arms around in a big circle and scooping up to the chest whilst pushing the knee forwards over that front foot. Then rock the body weight back Bring the toes up and reach up nice and tall with the arms again. Keep that back up nice and straight as you're going. So you're looking up ahead of you. Looking up ahead as you go. Again, if you're on the ball for this one, just roll the ball forwards as you place that left foot down and then just push back as you bring your arms back up. We'll make this one the last one on this side. And bring the arms softly back down by your sides. Switch those feet over. So we've now got the right foot forward and the left foot back. Again we're starting with our weight going through that back leg and the toes up on the front foot. Arms up above head. If you've just been doing the previous exercise with one arm, switch arms at this point. Coming forwards now onto that front leg, bringing the arms round in a big circle and scooping up to the chest. Rocking back, toes up, and up nice and tall. Make this one our last one. And bring those arms softly back down. Okay, switch those legs again. So once more we've got the left foot forward and the right foot back. Our weight's still going back through that back leg with the knee soft. Toes up on the front foot. This time we're going to start with our palms just in front of our tummies. This is called pushing the waves. We're going to push forward as we rock forward onto that front foot. Pushing away with the hands until the elbows are straight. And then imagine that you've got a wave washing back towards you again. Pick those toes up and again, pushing forwards. Reach forward as far as you feel comfortable and safe to do so. And then come back again, picking up that toe. Feel like you're trying to push that left knee out over the front of those toes. Keep that back foot firmly on the floor. Last one on this side. Bring 
Lovely. Switch those legs over. Right foot forward, left foot back, left knee bent, and toes on that right foot up in front. Again, palms just in front of our tummies, and we're pushing that imaginary wave away and letting it wash back towards us again. Switch those, leg, those legs again, left foot forward and right foot back, toes up on that front foot and palms in front of our tummies. This one starts in a similar way, we're going to push forward with the hands, push the body weight forward onto that front leg, but this time as we come back we're opening out the arms and we're going to imagine we're flying with a little dip at the knees, nice soft arms, coming forwards again. And back to the starting position. Again, pushing forwards, opening out the arms, imagine you're flying, and forwards, and back in. This is called the flying dove spreads its wings. So if you're on the ball for this one, again, do a little bit of a bend at the knees. Bounce on the ball and then come forwards again and push back on the ball. One more. Well done. Let's switch those legs over. So we've got the right foot forward and the left foot back for our last set of these. Toes up on that front leg, palms in front of our tummies. And for the last time we're coming forwards, opening out those arms and flying. Forwards again. And back in. Keep that going. transfer side to side. So as you take that arm forwards, slide over with your hips slightly and then over to the other side.
Still thinking about transferring that weight side to side, following those hands with the eyes. One more big circle, nice big stretch, and arms back down again. Good. Now we're going to do stepping and bouncing the ball. This is going to involve standing on one leg, so if you need something to hold on to, do grab a hold of something nice and sturdy. So we'll start off with the left leg coming up in front and as you bring the left leg up in front I'd like you to bring the right hand up to follow. We're going to bring that left leg back down and switch to the right one. A little bit like you've got your knee attached to a puppet string, you're drawing it up with the opposite hand. Keep the movement really slow. Imagine you're trying to not let your feet make any sound at all. Take those knees as high as you can. Good. 
just a couple more. Good, well done. And coming up nice and tall again. Keeping those knees nice and soft for the last exercise. This is called balancing the chi to close. In Tai Chi, they think about chi as being this lovely warm golden light and energy. I'd like you to imagine that you've got a pool of this golden light in front of you. And you're going to reach forward, scooping up some of that lovely warm light, bringing it up to your head, and then imagining it spreading down through the head, through the arms and the chest, through the back, the tummy, and into your legs. And keep that process going. Now with this exercise you can add in a little dip at the knees if you want to. As we're coming down we can do a little bit of a dip. Get our legs working. And coming up tall. Well done for finishing the class. Keep practicing Tai Chi and hopefully you'll notice some benefits.